Hey, Sneaker Nerds here today, again, with Ostromi 2.4. I've not done Ostromi for quite a while now. Now, as you know, it's from Latvia, and it's pretty cool. Although, I've never actually got it to install just yet. So, maybe I'll have a good time this time. Um, maybe not. But I'll give it a go over the next couple of days when I get some time. So, this is a live CD anyway, okay. So, up the top here, you've got my two CPUs, my memory, my memory free, my uptime. Top CPU and top memory. Okay, that's pretty cool. Terminal Explorer Editor, which is, let's have a look. See what our editor is. It's Genie. Very nice indeed. Our browser of choice today is, see if they've changed it to something else, because I haven't got a clue what it is. Aurora. Okay, well, Aurora normally runs all right, doesn't it? It normally does. But, you know, sometimes it just doesn't do it right. But from what I've used of it so far, it's not crashed or anything, so that should be all right. Okay, so that's their browser of choice. Skype is standard, which is jolly super duper. Multimedia, all we've got if we click it here, is M player. For doing M stuff. Let's get rid of M. Now, if I right click that menu, I said something else <laughs> happened. No, see, this is what happens. It's messing me about, man. There's another menu inside there with lots of other multimedia stuff, and I've just sussed out to get it to come up right yet. But if you right click it, you actually get simple burn. Okay, so that's all right. Office, let's have a look, see what I've got in Office. You get Libra Office, man. Oh, mine got in Himmel. Let's see if it's the full works or it's just a little bit out of it. Let's have a look. Right, that's Libra Office Writer. Okay, so it's just the writer in there. Okay, that's all right, I can live with that one. Accessories, what have we got? It's just XPad, basically, for doing your notes and stuff, so it's all right, yeah. Goodbye. You get a search thing and you get it services. So services, I would imagine, is HTOP. No, it's LX Terminal here. So as you can see, it's using 8 mega RAM, which is quite a lot, but it's quite a big distro, really. There's quite a lot in it, if you can get it to install. All right. So I keep saying that, if you can get it to install. But it's not using no CPU whatsoever, so that's okay. Some network stuff here and your desktop. X kill for killing stuff, if you like killing stuff, it is. And your quick menu. Now, if I right click the desktop, I also get this. So I can change my windows to Cascade Tile Expose. Themes, I can do stuff there. And there's a Cairo Doc theme as well. Resolution you can do from there. Wallpaper, let's see what we've got there. Oh, use random, or I can have some nice ones. Oh, let's try that one. I like that. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Your hotkey themes is also here. So that's all right, isn't it? All right, I like that. Now, what if I left click the desktop? Shall we see what happens? Bugger all. Oh, no. Here we are. So if you left click the desktop, get some more stuff. So if I go down to multimedia, here's the rest of my multimedia stuff. So you have to left click the desktop to get all the menu. Okay. We both learnt together there, didn't we? Yes. So you get your mixer, M player, sweep for sweeping, CD and DVD burning, and DVD burning, I know, which looks, looks like Brazero from here. But the radio stations in there, if I go over here, they are going to be Eastern European, aren't they? Let's be honest. What about videos? Yep, that's fine. Yeah. No, okay. So if you want to listen to radio from Latvia, off you go. You've got folk as well. A little folky station. Super duper. So anyway, I'm going to left click the desktop one more time and we'll go through the cut bits on the menu. Right, what have we got in graphics? Let's have a butcher's. Gimpy standard. GP document viewer and Inkscape. I'll say that again. Inkscape. Under internet. There's something there I've never heard of. Firefox, Linphone, PWGet, Skype, Transmission, XChat. And another chat client, that's fine. If I click Office, oh, there you go, look, you do actually get the full Open Office suite. So I'll just make sure, if I go to Calc, make sure it opens up for a start, shall we? Make sure it's actually working. And it does. So for your measly download from Astronomy, you actually get quite a lot on the live CD. Now, if only, if only I could get it to install, it'd be nice. So what I'm going to do, after I've done the video, I'm going to get a bit of a play and see if I install. And if I do get it to install, I'll put it in the notes for the video. Okay. That's enough for me. Sneaky Linux out. I see you later.